trying to show that there's no mismatch between the first and second pass. It's a two half inch depth of cut. I don't see any step on that side wall. I don't see any step on that side wall. It's telling me that the C axis is repeating between passes. This is still the second half inch depth of cut. My current RPM is 400. I'm feeding in at 60,000. No, no, in inches per minute, we'll do it that way. Uh, indicate spin over. Uh, a little conservative at five inches a minute going in. Again, that's uh, 400 RPM. Five inches a minute, full diameter, half inch step to cut, and the spindle load meter is sitting at 20%. Um, try not to push the tool too hard. As soon as I'm cutting dry, I just want to make sure I can get through all the cuts. And I'm still seeing no steps between the first and the second half inch step to cut on the inside of the slots. We'll take another look at those when we're done cutting. The rough and cap. Taking a look again at the rough slots, and then I'm looking down the sidewall for any misalignment between the first couple of passes. Uh, took the first half inch, step the cut, second half inch, step the cut. And again, I see no lines on the sidewall, any steps indicating that the C axes may not be repeating, which appears that it's repeating very well. So now I'll set up the uh, finish cutter. Alright, what I have here is the uh, reground inch and a quarter end mill uh, customer sent. And I'm taking the full one inch depth of cut. Uh, so basically it's taking an eighth of an inch per side, the full eighth inch depth, uh, one inch depth. Uh, I am feeding conservatively again just to ensure that I can get through all of the test cuts that are required uh, and also because I'm coming dry. I'm currently running, again, very conservatively. Uh, RPM still just as with the rougher. I just stayed with 400 RPM and I'm feeding at about 2 inches a minute. Um, again, uh, I mean, probably under normal conditions to shorten up the depth of cut and Coolant to it, but uh, also may not leave an eighth of an inch per side for a finish pass. But anyway, the machine handling is just fine. The single load meter is barely registering 10 on its load. So I'll get through all of these and uh, actually we'll go ahead and video one whole slot being cut.